Welcome to another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV with me, Salty Alley, at the Wakefield location. And today we're talking about the long-nosed hawk, one of people's favorite fish to have in the hobby. These fish are very well known for their long pointy nose, which is where they get the name long-nosed hawk. And they also have really pretty coloration and pattern on their body. They have a white body with this really pretty like reddish pink coloration. And they're just really, really neat. They have amazing personalities. They're so fun to interact with. They kind of, they actually feel like they're looking at you and they're really just really neat. They are ray finned fish that comes from the Indian and Pacific Oceans and they're known for their perching behavior. They're really fun to watch in the aquarium because they'll swim about from rock to rock, coral to coral, just kind of perching on them. These fish are reef safe with caution. They will not bother corals in any way, but they will go after shrimp and really small fish as they get larger. These guys get about five inches, so a five inch fish will go after, say, something like a small tail spot bunny, for example, something tiny. They will try and eat, and they will eat your shrimp. Typically, they will kind of leave cleaner shrimp alone, but it's still a hit or miss. Most others aren't safe, <laughs> so keep that in mind. Long nose hawks are jumpers, so they definitely need a secure fitting lid on the tank because they will find a way to get out if it's there. Long nose hawks require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons or larger. Make sure you provide lots of rock work and corals in the aquarium so they have places to perch and hang out because like I said, they're not a fish that swims around very much except for during feeding time or to kind of go from rock to rock. So that rock work is important for these guys. Like other hawk fish, they are prone to getting stung by anemones. So I usually don't suggest keeping them in a tank with a lot of anemones because they are a perching fish, so therefore they sometimes will mistake an anemone for a rock or a coral and they may get stung. And this also goes for other corals that are prone to stinging as well, like possibly torches frog spawns, etc. These are not an aggressive fish, they're just opportunistic. So even though they may eat very tiny fish, they're extremely docile and friendly. I just also don't suggest keeping them with other hawkfish species as they may become territorial. And sometimes if they're one of the first fish added into the tank, they become territorial with other rock perching fish. So if you have say um, blennies, like a Midas blenny that you wanted to add later on, you may see some territorial dispute in the aquarium. So something like a 30 gallon. If you have a 150 or something larger, you probably won't have any issue, but just keep that in mind. In any of the smaller aquariums, when you're adding a perching fish after them, you may see some territory disputes going on, but they're not aggressive. These are relatively hardy fish. They're not super delicate, but you do want to make sure you're maintaining proper water parameters. And they're not a fish that should be added right away into the tank as stability is important, but they're not prone to a lot of disease or other problems like that. Long nose hawks are not picky eaters as well. They'll typically eat anything that's offered to them. So I often feed frozen mysis shrimp, frozen brine shrimp, mega marine, and a lot of other variety. And sometimes you can get them to eat pellets or flakes as well, but they'll typically go after frozen food more readily. All right guys, well that's it today for our species profile on the long nose hawkfish. If you guys are interested, come on in, see this little guy. He's perfect size right now. He's nice and small. It's a really good fish to get to watch and grow up. Just really, really neat fish. I think you will love him. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode and you know what to do. Keep it salty, baby.